everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very glad to show you my first guest DT project for Fenley Designs. And I'm very very happy about it. It's a chest of drawers which has a very particular framework and I will show you how to assemble it and also how to decorate it in a very steampunk way. So I hope you like it and I leave you now to the tutorial. I hope it will be clear but anyway if you have any questions you can always write down on the comments below. So see you next time. Bye! Let's start with the framework you will receive two panels which I named A. These are the backs of our drawers. On one side of panel A you will have to glue a panel B1, which is this one shown in the video. On the other side you will glue a panel B2, which is a little bit different because it has two holes on one side. Panel C will create a flat surface on which you will put your drawers. And these are the items you will need to create the framework. Now with the drawers. Panels D are the base of our drawers. On each base you will add a panel E which is very simple to identify because it has a sort of hole. Two panels F which are the sides of the drawer and a panel G which is the back. You will also receive these little pieces of wood which are the hinges. Other things you will need are white glue, a brush and a plastic lid. Let's take panel A and panel C. Mix white glue with a little bit of water. And put it on the wider side of panel C. Glue it on panel A and clean the excess of glue with a piece of fabric. Repeat for the other panels. And set aside to dry. And now let's put the glue on the sides. We will add panel B2, being careful and paying attention to the holes because they have to match. And we will do the same for panel B1. And the first half of the chest of drawers is done. All you have to do now is to do the same for the other half. Now let's build the drawers. Take a panel D, a panel E, two panels F and a panel G. Take panel D and add glue on each side of it. And now you can add panel E and panel F, being careful to glue the sides. Last but not least, add panel G. To build the hinges, I suggest you to watch Lou Greenwood's video about it. What I did was to alternate them on a stick, so that Two of the longer pieces were on one side and one was on the other side.
and then I put glue on the holes and simply push the hinges inside of them, being careful to put the shorter pieces before. Do the same thing on the other side. I suggest you to add glue also to the center pieces because uh, I found out they come out after a while if you don't do it. Ta-da! Our chest of drawers is done. As you can see the hinges work perfectly. Now we're ready to decorate it. I decided to use this medieval hinge and also these cogs and gears by Fernley Designs. I'm taking my Primer Marketing Color Bloom Antique Gold and I spray it on a plastic lid and I paint my hinge just with the fingers. If I want to decorate the other side of the chest of drawers as well, I will paint another one. Using bread, I will also add a couple of die cuts. I decorated my cogs and gears with this rust effect. If you want to know how I did it, all you have to do is to click on the link above. The next step is to pull out all the drawers, take a rubber band and use it to close the chest of drawers. I decided to add these clasps using just screws and a screwdriver. This will keep it closed when I bring it from one room to another one. And by the way, they are very steampunk. Now it's perfect. Let's start with the fun part. I take my embellishments and I try to figure out how to arrange them. Then I simply glue them on the corners with white glue. And I will decorate the other side in the opposite way. Using mastic I will also glue some screw heads in the center of the gears. Now with my Big Shot I cut some gears and cogs die cuts with my X cut and my first edition dies and I use them to decorate the front of the drawers and I simply use white glue The last thing I will do is to add some sparkles using a gold glitter in the center of the cogs. And here we are, my chest of drawers is done and it's very very steampunk. I hope you will love the fact that I left it on wood color and I also like the fact that that I use these clasps because they are beautiful and very very useful because they keep it closed. There's a lot of space inside, you will see I put 
many many different embellishments inside and I also like the fact that I could decorate it even though there was no room for decorations because it has to close and as you can see here I put all my fairly designs and embellishments you can also put flowers buttons and also why not a set of wooden stems so this is my project for the month of March for Family Designs. I really hope you liked it. And if you want to discover a wooden wonderland, please visit www.fanlydesigns.com and also subscribe their Facebook page. And stay tuned for my next videos because I'm sure, guys, that we will have a lot of fun. Now I leave you and I'll say goodbye. See you next time and thanks for watching. Bye!